Hey everybody, how's it going? Chris here from Wicked Repairs, and uh, today we have a 2019 Harley Davidson Ultra Classic replacing the front brakes on. Uh, very simple process. I got all the stuff here. I'm going to show you what you need for tools, what you need for parts, and we're going to do the job. So, here's all the stuff you really need to do the job. First and foremost, you need the new pads. Uh, the new pads, these are from Harley Davidson, um, come with a new pin and a new clip to hold the pads in place. Um, I have some never sees here just to put a little teeny bit on this shaft because you always want to make sure that that's uh, You know as free moving as possible. You don't want that thing to get uh, corroded and uh, If you don't have pins to replace them um, Because you bought your pads elsewhere or whatever uh, make sure you take the old pins out clean them real well um, Put some never sees on just a tiny bit. You don't need a lot um, or if you don't have never sees grease works Okay um, we'll wash away, of course. Um, the never sees tends to stick a little bit longer, stay around. I have the air hose nozzle here just to blow, um, you know, the brake caliper uh, clean of dust and debris. You're going to need a uh, quarter inch what, drive, 3 16 Doesn't have to be quarter inch drive, but uh, 3 16 Allen for the pin itself. And uh, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket, but it has to be a 12 point socket for the caliper bolts. And I have the flat head here for a couple of reasons. Um, you can see right there, the 10 millimeter um, 12 point socket. So on this, you have these little covers that you have to pop off and we could gently just pry with the flat head screwdriver. And then you could typically take them right off from there pop those off and get those out of the way there we go that was giving me a little bit of a hard time the way it's clipped in there and uh, first thing you want to do is pull this pin out now typically you should be able to just pull them off with your hand like that um, we have a new one of those so no big deal um, and then I'm just going to while the caliper is still mounted to the fork I'm going to just loosen that pin because it's a lot easier to do it now than it is to do it when the caliper is off and then we're going to take the caliper bolts bust those loose those are on pretty tight but that's good and then we run them on tight and we're going to loosen both of these up I'm going to take the caliper off um, and before I even remove the pads, I'm going to take the air hose and I'm going to blow out the whole caliper. So I'll spare you all the blowing noise here and uh, skip right to that. Now I just want to show you real quick down inside here where the pistons are. These pistons themselves are very clean. You can see the brake pads are a little corroded and they're worn. They need to be replaced for sure. Um, always keep an eye out for these pistons that are in here because if these get really crusty, um, when you spread these brake pads, if they start getting corrosion, you might ruin the seals. Um, and also, it helps with building pressure. Sometimes uh, these brakes can get really soft, and a good uh, remedy for them is taking the caliper off, pumping the piston out, not all the way, or putting something, you know, like a flathead screwdriver in between the pads as you pump it out just so you'll be able to spread them after. Um, but sometimes if, you're, if your piston gets really pitted and nasty and, you know, brake cleaner and compressed air won't really clean it well, you might have to pump that out and clean that stuff off with a, um, maybe a cloth or, uh, you know, like a, um, a very fine scotch bright pad uh, very lightly to take off the corrosion and then you can compress the pistons back in place. Um, so we're going to clean this caliper with the air. I'm going to take this screwdriver and I'm going to just pry in between these old pads a little bit just to push the pistons back and then we're going to remove the pads. So you can see I've spread the pads out as far as they can go. Just use the flathead screwdriver and just lightly pried in between the pads back and forth and uh, what this does is make it so that there's enough room because as these pads wear and the pistons come in closer and closer um, the new pads are going to be thicker of course and they're not going to fit into the caliper unless you spread these pistons back in place there are tools that you can put on here clamps and stuff like that but really you should be able to go with a screwdriver as I did very lightly and push it back. It shouldn't take a whole lot of pressure. 
Um, if there is a lot of pressure, you may want to, um, you know, just double check your fluid. Maybe somebody put fluid in there when they shouldn't have, when the pads were already really low, and now it's too full that when you're put, spreading the pads and pushing the pistons back, all that fluid is getting pushed right against your uh, brake master cylinder cap, and it has nowhere to go. But technically, as long as uh, you're not doing a, you know, a flush or anything like that, you shouldn't have to touch that when just replacing pads, um, only when replacing fluid. So we're going to go ahead and take off that Allen head uh, right here. Don't you don't have to touch these ones, but this Allen head right here, and that is your pin for the brake calipers. Uh, I'm for the brake pads rather, not the calipers, but and that should always come apart pretty easy. Um, sometimes they don't if they're really corroded, but this bike is a very clean bike all around. So, all right, I'm take and remove the pin. You can see how crusty that one is. Putting a little bit of Nevesis on the new one will help with that and make sure that the pads are freely moving. And you're going to take the pads here and you should be able to pop them out by hand relatively easy. There's one. And there's two. So you can see how closed those pistons are. So I'm just going to use two hands real quick here. Um, lubricate this pin with the Nevesis and I'm going to get the new pads set in there. Now I didn't install the pads completely. You can see I have them pushed in under the little brackets there. And you want to make sure that you push these down into place. That one kind of popped out but push that there. Push this down and that pushes it down on the brake pad clips that are in there. And then you, uh, I mean, the most important thing with putting the pads in is making sure that that part there lines up with these holes properly. Obviously, if you have that part on the opposite side of the caliper, it's not even going to fit in. Um, the pin. I just very lightly lubricated with Nevesis, okay? So I put the tiniest little bit on it and then I use my gloves to just spread across it. And um, so when you put the pin in, just make sure it's going through the pads there properly and that it's coming through to the point that it's holding the pads in there securely. I'm gonna grab our 3 16 Allen and it should just go in nice and smooth. Sometimes you might need to give just a little pressure on the pads while you get it started. Nope, dropped it. And that's good enough by hand for now. Now if these pads, as I mentioned before, were too close, it's not going to fit over you know through the rotor in between the rotor properly you can see they should slide on and be nice and smooth there shouldn't be any dragging or anything like that so i'm going to again i'm going to take uh both of my hands here real quick and i'm going to get these bolts in here for to hold the caliper in place all right so i've gone and installed the bolts um and i've also tightened the pin bolt as well so make sure that when you put the caliper on you recheck the tightness of this this and this and i put this on but i'm not supposed to put that on yet <laughs> um then you have to put your new pin in so right where that bolt is there's kind of a little shoulder right here it's really tough to see but there is a little shoulder here and you want this pin to go right in where that shoulder is and it should pop right in as you hear kind of an audible click as it goes around uh, the little ridge there that holds it in place and then we're going to put the cover back on here and you're just going to put those pins on the bottom in there and you'll feel them kind of just they'll go right into place 
and then should go right into place. There we go. And then just clip the full the top part forward and then get that on. Just give it a little wiggle, make sure it's tight and it's not gonna fall off. And then uh, I guess probably the next most important step would be to make sure you pump these brakes and push those back out to where it's against the uh, rotor so that, there we go, it's nice and tight, feels good, holds pressure, and um, just to make sure that, because if you forget to pump the brakes and get these pistons pushed back out onto the rotors, and uh, say you just take the bike down, and get it out and go to drive it, the first time you go to hit those brakes, there's gonna be nothing there until you pump them. Now the only thing on the left side of the bike that uh, is different is the ABS sensor if your bike is equipped with ABS. Uh, make sure that that bracket goes on the outside of the fork tube, you know, and is held on by the uh, caliper bolts. So that's the only thing different on this side. I'm going to be doing the rear brakes on this bike as well. Um, but it's basically the same exact thing as the front. Um, the only difference in the back here, you have to take off your saddlebag and uh, you may have to move this cover here just to have a little more room to get the caliper out. Um, same thing, you got a little clip here you're gonna pop off. You got this Allen that you're gonna take out. And then we have these two Allens here to take the caliper off, replace the pads, clean them, uh, clean the caliper and everything, put it all back together, that's it. So it's real basic and uh, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope to catch you soon on the next one. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you for watching.